This is a biopsy of a temporal artery showing classical features of giant cell or temporal arteritis. Giant cell arteritis is a disease of the elderly. It affects the arteries of the head and neck, especially the temporal arteries, hence the term temporal arteritis as an, as an alternative, and the condition affects women more frequently than men. Clinically, giant cell arthritis may present with malaise, tiredness and headaches and typically there is tenderness or pain and erythema over the temporal artery. The temporal artery itself shows foci of thickening. The ESR or erythrocyte sedimentation rate is raised and giant cell arthritis may be associated with polymyalgia rheumatica. Complications include blindness if the ophthalmic arteries are involved and cerebral infarct. So if giant cell arthritis is suspected, urgent treatment with steroids is required. Histological features of giant cell arthritis includes full thickness granulomatous inflammation of the artery wall. There are lymphocytes, histiocytes and of course giant cells as the name implies and the giant cells tend to be situated around fragments of disrupted elastic lamina. In addition, there may be narrowing of the lumen of the artery and thrombosis. In this low power view of the temporal artery biopsy, you can see that the temporal artery lumen is completely occluded. On higher power, you can see that there is a chronic inflammatory infiltrate composed of lymphocytes, histocytes and giant cells. Here the lymphocytes and histocytes can be more clearly seen and in the middle of the picture is a giant cell. The giant cells tend to be situated adjacent to fragments of the elastic lamina and in this picture you can see a giant cell beneath it running to the bottom of the picture is a squiggly red line. This is the elastic lamina.